also use uh, brushes, um, different sizes of uh, brushes. Um, I, I, I could not tell you the name of them because uh, I'm not a painter, but uh, I know that they are oil-based. Same, same place where you buy oil-based for painting, I always get this. And, and these type of brushes, I never wash with soap or water. Rather, I have a hot plate, and, and I will tell you more about, about how I use the hot plate. Um, so, and I just, if they have a little bit of color, I just go back and forth. Does that make sense? Because normally the color will be cocoa butter. So it warms the cocoa butter and keep it like that. Then, if you need to wash the, this, uh, so, soap and water, go like this, and let it hang them to dry. Never place like this, otherwise they deform. So just put a little bit of tape, and uh, perhaps just let it dry like this. Does that make sense? The, the, basic, uh, the basic things that I, that I like to use. The other thing that's important, uh, as you do chocolate work, and I have it on this, uh, on this booklet, on the, on the second page, I believe, I talk about the, the actual uh, temperature of the plates. Uh, 71 is what I preferred. It may be too cold or too, um, uh, too hot for some chocolate chops. Um, I work between 68 to 71 Fahrenheit, okay? That's the ideal technique for most, the, the ideal temperature for most of my techniques. Now, I prefer to have also a room, what, what I put over here, I call it a cold room. Um, in my facilities, I have, a, you know, the shop at 71, and then I have another shop, another room that I keep at 58 or 61, a little bit colder. It may work for some of you, for some of you maybe not, because you may not have the room in your house or a board. But, um, but if you cannot have a cold room, you can also have a wine cooler. Wine cooler, you can keep it at 58 to 60 degrees, but it's very important to have another room to pre-crystallize uh, the molds after you paint. Does, does that make, am I making sense? So it's basically another room. If you cannot have a room, just have a wine cooler. Wine coolers, you can modify the temperature and, and the humidity, and nowadays you can get like a small unit. It can be like a, like a desktop unit. It doesn't have to be a full size. But, but that's important. You want to control, control temperature. As you do your work, you want to have different sources of, of heat. The microwave is one source because we can melt things, we can warm things. Um, the, the, the heat gun, this one is also a heat source. You know, we can apply heat uh, to a number of techniques. Then what I have here, I have a, 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 a buffet uh, hot plate holder. Uh, this one is, it stays hot. It stays at about uh, 76 degrees. I can control the heat up and down, but I work much with this, uh, with this hot plate. I call it a hot plate. And you will see as I do my work. Um, I, I strongly recommend this for the next three months. In January, I'm, I'm coming, I develop a, a hot plate that will have a section to maintain your cocoa butter warm. And then another section for a spatula to keep your spatulas hot. You will see it and you like, hopefully you buy it, you will, you will like it. But right now I'm working with this. Uh, these ones are very good, you know, they work, but uh, they, they don't last as much as what I'm going to have in the market. But in any case, this is a source of heat. So, so I keep it here. Um, you also need a source of a cold air. In, in this case, um, a, we don't have it here, but I'll get it later, a cold, cold spray. Have you seen those sprays that, that there's cold air? Those are sometimes necessary 
you need access for eyes and you need a granite. Having granite is very important. And, uh, and also for tempering chocolate and things like that.